Welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys for another video. Firstly, very, very sorry I couldn't get the review straight to you after last night's game. I was travelling down to Florida. I'm currently on holiday there, so that's where the sound quality maybe isn't quite what it usually is. I wasn't able to bring all of my usual stuff here, but I have got a video coming up for you guys today, and it is regarding the game yesterday against Real Valladolid. We won the game by a goal to nil, but it was a questionable display. There was a lot of things that we need to discuss, and in this video, we are going to be taking the overall perspective of that game, the positives and the negatives. But I have to start, absolutely no question of a doubt, with that pitch. What an absolute disgrace yesterday, that Real Valladolid pitch. There's no getting around it. It was not even fit for non-league football, let alone one of the biggest leagues in world football. Jared Peter came after the game. He said, look, you know, La Liga want to take their games abroad. They want to play in the United States. What they need to do, first of all, is sort out all of their teams, all of their pitches, and get matters right in Spain before they think about anything else. And he's absolutely right, because you cannot underestimate, really, the implications of playing on a pitch like that. It was a really bad surface. It kept getting cut up. You saw the players actually get handfuls of the pitch and just pick it up like it wasn't even laid. It was really, really bad. And especially with our style of play, it can really, really affect the way that we play. Especially, you know, with a bad surface, the roll of the ball might be off a bit. You can't really get a good gauge of how to pass it, what sort of weight you need on it. And even players like Xavi, Messi in the past, they have really struggled when the pitches have not been to good condition. So there was no reason to even play that game last night. The referee, I think, could have called it off. Because even, you know, in the past, and we've seen it pouring with rain, really bad weather conditions, it doesn't usually pick up that much. Players, like I say, were literally getting handfuls up that pitch. They could have taken it home as a souvenir. It really was so, so bad. And the funny thing is, in the referee's match report, they said basically, were there any problems with the pitch or the surroundings? And in his official match report he could have then stated about that pitch and then it could have been taken to La Liga and he said no problems what on earth was he doing what pitch was he on yesterday but Barcelona very very unhappy with that they're going to launch an official complaint to La Liga over the pitch and it'll be interesting to see what comes of that but like I say in this video guys we're going to be looking at both sides of the coin I'm not going to go full on negative with you I don't really think that's the right way to go especially this early in the season I don't want to get everybody down thinking you know Barca are finished there's no real need to go down that route just yet but we are going to be looking at the positives and the negatives that's the most important thing and where we can improve in the very near future so let's start first of all with the positives and come on later on with where we desperately need to change things so the first things that I will say in terms of positives there's not a great deal of those as you will expect guys but the first thing that I have to say is we got the three points at the end of the day that's what we're all here for that's what we're all fighting for we wanted the three points and in the end we did get them obviously we do expect expect more as a Barcelona team you want to see a little bit more in terms of their performance but luckily we did get away with the three points here and maintained our winning start to the new season and the second point would simply be about the way that we actually got that three points and we did it thanks to VAR the new technology in La Liga they gave us the three points courtesy of that late offside decision which was given in the dying seconds and I've actually got this down as a positive simply because VAR not only went in our favour but it was done in a very fair way it was a very close decision and you know what they got it absolutely right because I don't know about you guys but when they said that there was going to be VAR in La Liga this season a lot of people were happy about it of course they were but I was kind of thinking if there's a decision like this it could go either way very very close I personally felt like we wouldn't get that many decisions I felt like Barcelona they would sort of give it the other way if it was very very close so yesterday I was really pleasantly surprised they got it absolutely right it was a very tight decision but they did see the striker there straying offside and luckily we got away with those three points and like I said there wasn't a great list of positives and the final point with regard to positives will be about the match winner Ousmane Dembele scoring yet another winning goal and that should give him enormous confidence as a Barcelona player believing that he can be here and playing a very important role and once again you know you look at him in a big moment of the game second half when the chips are down we needed that first goal and it was just like in the Super Cup when he came up with that sensational winning goal once again here he 
was in the right place. He takes it down. It's a strike with his right foot going across the goalkeeper. It's a very good finish. It was nicely taken. But speaking about this positive, speaking about Dembele and the way that he played, that brings me on, though, to my first negative, simply because Valverde is continuing to play Usman Dembele on the left-hand side. Two times now, he's actually been moved to the right during games, and the two times that's happened in the Super Cup against Sevilla, he scored a goal, and again, against Valladolid, whether it was Valverde's choice or not to move him to the right, some rumours say that Messi actually told him to go out there. He scored again, he scored a match-winning goal, and you can clearly see that Dembele is much more comfortable on that right-hand side, and it's really, really strange to me that Valverde persists with him on the left, when you can see quite clearly he makes the team more balanced when he's on the right, not only with Dembele, but the entire team looks a lot more balanced, because with Dembele on the left, you've got Suarez down the middle, you've got Messi then out to the right, if Dembele starts on that left, and what you have then is Messi coming central, you know, he likes to drop in, he likes to come into midfield to get the ball, he'll come central, and then you've got nobody at all on that right-hand side, it's completely vacated, there's nobody occupying the defenders, nobody stretching the pitch, trying to run into that space, Suarez will push on, and Dembele will be out on this left, not doing a lot, and Alba is more than capable of running that left-hand side all on his own, he doesn't need Dembele's help over there, we need Dembele on that right-hand side, when Messi comes inside, we need somebody out there occupying that space, stretching the pitch as much as possible, and basically giving our opposition every possible problem that we can give them. If you can put players in those dangerous areas, go and do that. For me, Dembele on the left isn't really as much of a threat as he is on that right-hand side when he's out there causing a problem. The second negative and the penultimate negative on this list would be about Luis Suarez and basically Ernesto Valverde's view to Luis Suarez, which really doesn't make any sense to me. The fact that Luis Suarez continues to play the full 90 minutes, but Ernesto Valverde is absolutely against substituting him for some reason. And I'm not even somebody here who wants Suarez out of the team. I'm not somebody who's like, you know, get Suarez out. I never want him back. Get him out of this club. Nothing at all like that. I completely understand giving Suarez the opportunity to play himself into form, to get himself a few goals and give him a bit of momentum. But to leave him out there consistently for 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 90 minutes, keep playing him for the entire game. It doesn't benefit anybody. It doesn't benefit the team. It doesn't benefit Suarez himself, who continues then to receive criticism. He runs himself into the ground. He loses his edge as the game goes on. And then there's Munir, who comes on for the last three minutes of the game in stoppage time. What exactly does that say for competition for places? What kind of message does that give out to Munir and players who are fighting for minutes? They get a minute or two here and there. That is not the message that you want to be conveying to a competitive squad. And I don't really understand Valverde's insistence on playing Suarez for the full 90. But above all else, the most negative thing for me with this performance is Valverde himself, that negative mentality and almost small-mindedness. And this for me is nothing to do with the pitch and it's nothing new. That is the biggest problem here. We saw this last season with Ernesto Valverde and it's time now for him to prove himself that he does have what it takes to be the Barcelona manager. Does he have what it takes to stand there stand by his principles, be bold, and most importantly, above all else, above the style, above the performance, above the goals scored, you have to be, as a Barcelona coach, you've got to be brave. You've got to stand there, take on those decisions, take on those moments in games with a bit of grit, a bit of determination. Don't just sit back, don't just accept it. And yesterday, we didn't see that from Valverde. He was negative with his changes, there was a clear change of strategy in the closing minutes of that game, in the last 20 minutes or so, we simply sat off, which makes no sense. Defending at Barcelona, dropping deep, inviting pressure, it is not who we are. We are not Atletico Madrid. If Diego Simeone is 1-0 up in a game, he has built a team full of players who are fully capable of closing that game out. They know what they're doing, they have been brought up to play that style, and they understand it, and they cherish it. But that is not Barcelona. Our players are not going to be throwing their bodies on the line, they're not going to be dropping deep, they're not going to close down the spaces, they're not going to really feel comfortable in that style of play because that's not the players they are. Our players are much more suited to being on that front foot, using the ball to close the game out, creating chances. Attack for us is literally the best form of defence. That's all we know. That is all we flourish upon. And because we saw that in matches last season, you know, look at Roma away. We sat off, we got punished. Yesterday, we sat off, we very nearly got punished with that last minute goal. It simply doesn't work for us. Whenever Valverde goes with this approach, it near enough ends up badly and it will backfire 
massively if we continue to do this. So like I say, it's up to Valverde now. He's got another season. The club decided to keep him after what happened last year. He's got a bit of credit in the bank with the league. But what he has to do now is prove to us and prove to those players that he has what it takes to be the Barcelona coach. Can he be brave? Can he be attack-minded? Can he go into this with that kind of character, that managerial leadership? We will have to wait and see. The jury is well and truly out on that one. So those are basically my observations from yesterday's game. And like I say, guys, at the end of the day, we did get three points. We did just about escape with a win, but there's no doubt about it. We do need to improve, and hopefully we can see those improvements take some shape in the very near future. Leave your thoughts down below, guys. What did you think of the game yesterday? What observations did you find from watching it? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll be back very shortly, of course, with more videos for you. You. Thank you for your support and your patience. I'll see you soon. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barça. <laughs>